Pushrod Fury. Okay, so today is a, a video about adding some extra luggage, some storage on the Sportster. And kind of ended up down this path. So I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on. I like the utility of the Pelican ammo boxes. And they're pretty good size. Like, you see the size of my hand there. Um, these things have plenty, turn it around, plenty of room in them. And obviously they're not as big as my BMW bags, but uh, you know, you can see the hand fits in there. Definitely get a case of beer in there and cans maybe. But if you're going on a couple days trip, this will be fine. It's got a waterproof seal all the way around. It's got a place to lock it. And it's got a really nice latch here. Nice fold down handle. But the other thing is I want to take the bike on some longer trips. I know it's not sounds silly, but the Sportster's fine for that. Um, just needs a better seat. But uh, I wanted to have these side bags and then with the side bags mounted on the bike, it also give me um, a place to put like a roll bag across the back there. So let, kind of let me show you some more. On the bike now I've got the click fix system. Pop, pop that out. So I had to go to three different vendors for this solution, but they all work together pretty nicely. So this luggage rack, as you can see, bolts directly into the shock. They supply the bolt and it bolts into the uh, fender arm here and it has a little standoff. So it doesn't actually touch it, which I was afraid that's what it did, but you couldn't really tell from the drawings. And this bracket you can purchase online for about 90 euros. So what is that, like a hundred bucks? I bought it locally and I paid a little too, a little too much for it, but you can buy it online for about a hundred bucks with shipping, so maybe about 120. And what's nice about it, it's compatible with this system, this click fix system. All right, Nick, I torture you with bad camera work. Here you go. Click fix. And it's made in Germany, it's not a piece of crap. So this thing, I bought it with the lock option. Keep people from stealing my bags. But uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'll go ahead and I'll connect the bracket and then I'll size up the bag and mark it with tape and we'll install the bag. So I'll put the camera in a different position so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put the bracket on. So I figured I'll put the bracket on and center it. So it just kind of goes like that. And then I want to make sure this is the right height, not too high so it doesn't look dumb, not too low. I can't I don't want it touching the muffler. And not too far forward so a passenger can still sit on the back. Oops. So I'm going to sit back here like I'm a passenger. Let's see if I center it, I think it's a little too close, just in case my passenger wants to put their foot back. So I think I want to put the bags about there. I think really that's the position you want the you want to see the side of your turn signal i think so people coming car car coming like or not directly behind you but maybe diagonally behind you can still see your turn signal if it's on and i think the bag should be about that height i don't think it should be up here that would look silly i think it needs to be about right there is good 
Um, yeah, I think that would be about perfect for this. So now it's time to get the tape out and start lining all this up. This will put the handle down. So that's what it'll look like on the bike. So I took a bunch of measurements and I got one of the brackets installed on the bag. And I, I'm, didn't, I didn't show you that because I really didn't know what I was doing. But now I'll show you how I'm gonna get that bracket on, okay? And the first thing we did, you saw me holding it up to the bike. I got the right height and I marked it. And then um, we made a template and we use that template to drill this hole. And just so you know, I'll put it in the comments. The hole is for 20 millimeter, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's perfect uh, 13 sixteenths is 20.6 millimeters. It makes a perfect size hole uh, through the plastic and it doesn't drift at all. So that worked out great. And by the way, these holes are going to be 13 64ths. So anyway, what we did is we drilled that hole out because it says the lock on it. We set that on the bag and then held it up to the bike again with the bracket installed on the bike. And then we got the right rotation of the bag so the bag wasn't tipping you know, this way or that way. Once we figured that out, we marked it up and then uh, did the final drilling. So now we just need to make the mirror image of this bag onto here. And to make things a little easier, I took this measurement. I'll show you, I used a pair of calipers. I'm just taking a mechanical measurement here, so you can see the calipers engaging there. And you come over here, and it's a little low, so raise that up and check again. Of course, I keep hitting it. There we go. So you can see. We got that there. Just raise it up a tiny bit more. And there we go. So that matches. So just check there. And then I took that measurement and just put it right here. That, that worked out great. So, so far, so good. I'll show you one other measurement that I wanted to get on here to make sure it was okay. And that was to the center of that fastener, to the edge of the bag. And you can see it's right at six inches. You can see it's right at six inches. So I think we've got that and that lined up. But before I do anything too drastic, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to drill this hole, the top hole out, go test it on the bike, and everything looks good. Then I'll drill these three holes where I have the template. If it doesn't look good, then I'll I can always rotate it because we're just now we're just going for the rotation of the bag. So I got a little cross here there.
There we go. So now we'll go outside and we're gonna place this on the bike and just make sure it looks good with its rotation. And it should be, everything matches this one, so we have a mirror image of this bag and everything should be fine. All right, so we'll head outside. Okay, here's the bracket. I'm just gonna stick that on the bike. It goes on like that. And here's the case. And really, and we already know that this is gonna be in the way a little bit, so I'm just gonna pop that back and put this on. And we really just wanna see if it looks silly or not. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stand the bike up and make sure that the saddle bag isn't tipping one direction or the other. So that might be hard for us to capture on video, but um, you can see, and there's a couple things I'll point out, uh, that the bag has a little bit of clearance from the turn signal, right? And you can also see from the side, we didn't block the side of the turn signal lens, and that's good for safety because if there's a car sort of off in that direction, the saddlebag won't block the turn signal so they can make sure and of course these are your tail lights also so pretty important not to have your saddlebag pushing out past them so we'll, we're going to do that but essentially what we're doing is we're checking the rotation obviously that's not right and obviously that's not right so it's going to be something like this and so we're going to stand it up and check that out uh, and so if you're doing this it probably help to have a, a friend with you so we're gonna go ahead and check that, and if it's good, then we will finish the drill in the holes and we'll get it installed. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we checked everything. The uh, rotation is great, and we have the template on there, but I'm gonna drill the holes with the bracket on the bag, just so they all line up. It's hard to see on camera, so I'm not even gonna attempt, but I can see the marks on our template, and they're perfectly concentric with the mounting holes. We have the right drill bit. This is a 13 64th. So this is, this is gonna work out just fine. So I'm just gonna hold the bracket still and then I'll drill the three holes and hopefully not shift the bracket. And not because I like to ride in the rain, but every time I go on a trip, it decides to rain. So I mean, we've got four holes. We just drilled four holes into a waterproof box. So to reduce, it's probably not going to make it waterproof, but to reduce the likelihood of water getting into those holes, I mean, this is totally clogged. So I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, silicone gasket maker, and I'm just going to make a nice circle around the mating surface on the bracket each, around each screw hole. We'll just go around there and it kind of goes all the way around. Again, we're just trying to prevent water from getting in the bag during rain. That's a bit much. Okay. Well, anyway, you can do a neater job than I did. I'll put this down get that out of the way okay so now we've got the hardware laid out here these bushings are going to go on the inside of the bag and these screws go through there so I don't want to get RTB or whatever the silicone adhesive everywhere so I just want to get, there we go, that's perfect. So we have that. We'll put these screws through. And through. And hopefully they go through their holes just fine. There we go. Okay, everything lines up. And now, I'm going to hold that in place. Install these. So I'll just show you one, 
and then I'm going to bore you with putting all three in there. It's got a nice nylon nut in there so it won't vibrate out. So we're just going to repeat that three times and um, then we'll be ready to install it on the bike. So we'll see you outside. Okay, so here it is. We've got the uh, Pelican Bolt ammo box. You can see it's a good size. I also want to show you how it opens. The latch is really nice. So you lift that latch up and this is the inside. So we've got some plastic in there still from drilling it. So I'll keep that closed when I install it. And then on this side, of course, is the bracket we just installed by ClickFix. So that's on there. And this is the saddlebag bracket. And this is from Hodorosa in Spain, and it's made to be compatible with the um, click fix system. So that's really nice. And it has these little nylon stoppers that you can add to it, and it just keeps the bag from sliding. But it's a really firm fit, so I don't think it would slide. But anyway, it goes on real easy. You basically put it like that, and you push down, and you're done. And then the other thing is, if you want to lock it to the bike, I purchased the brackets with the optional lock. I think it adds about $20 to the price. And then if I can remember where I put the key, I can lock it on to the motorcycle. All right, here's the lock. There we go. Now it's in place. We close the lid. And we're all set. We'll take a look at the bike. I'll get on the bike and turn it, you know, take it off the side stand and see what this looks like. But that's essentially it. That's the Sportster with a couple of waterproof saddlebags, super easy to install, tail lights, they're not obscured from the side. And I didn't have to relocate anything. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll put links for everything of uh, the bags, the brackets, the saddlebag mounts, and we'll even have a download for the template because the um, bracket manufacturer doesn't supply one. So you can get all that um, in the links below. Thanks.